Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now today we have got Canopies and Coastlines, which is one of the new tracks, one of the new courses in Zwift. So I'm looking forward to this one. This is a big event. It's got over 90, well, it has got 90 competitors in. So really looking forward to testing myself on this one and seeing where I finish up after, especially after having my recent, um, let's call it kind of a success for the Flamme Rouge Racing Tour, where I did eight races in nine days. And that, I have to admit, absolutely knackered me out. So I've had a bit of a rest this week. I have done a little bit of zone two, a little bit of threshold, and um, this race, and that's pretty much it. So I'm feeling good, I'm feeling rested. Um, hopefully I'll have a decent race. Well, I know what sort of race I'm gonna have because I'm commentating over it, but yeah, hopefully it'll come through and you'll enjoy it as well, okay? Um, right, so where are we? We are in, or just coming through Titan's Grove uh, Reverse. Now this KOM, I'm not really a massive fan of it. Um, it is what it is. And I'm not, I don't really like using that phrase very often, but I've used it now. Um, so my plan, once again, was just to stay with the front of the group for as long as possible. and. I've done a pretty good job. That person off the front there is not going anywhere. And as we roll on through, job done with the front of the pack. We've kind of got a little bit of a split. And there we go. Now on screen, this is my um, Intervals UCI app. It shows you exactly where I was after the Flamme Rouge Racing Tour. And you can see my fatigue is 100. Uh, my fitness has improved, but my form is minus 49, which basically means I have worked very hard recently. So I'm hoping after a bit of rest that my performance or my fitness levels are gonna, I don't know, take me to finish high up in this race because that's what it's all about, you know. Well, actually it's all about having fun, increasing my fitness, staying healthy and trying to improve as a cyclist. And that's why I really enjoyed the Flamme Rouge Racing Tour. And as I say, I will do another video kind of to recap the whole thing, but I absolutely enjoyed it and it was so good for my fitness. And uh, I kind of got used to racing every day and this week it's been a bit weird actually not racing. Um, anyway, let's let's talk about this race. Enough about Flamme Rouge Racing and how much of a fanboy I am. Um, so I'm just drafting here in the pack. Everything seems to be going okay. Heart rate's not too bad at all. And I am kind of thinking at this point, I want to try and make a little breakaway because as I say, it's flat. This is, well, it's rolling, but it's kind of flat. There's no like massive inclines. It's going to be difficult to get away, but I feel like if I can, if I can jump, like say one of these little 1% or 3% inclines, if I can jump after this, um, I will maybe be able to hold it off or hold off the pack if I get some support from someone else. So if I see someone like this jump off the front, I'm on their wheel and I'm going to try and roll on through and keep it going and try and get a little gap, which is exactly what I did here. So I thought my plan was absolutely perfect at this point because I've rolled through, there's a couple of people with me. Now, all I needed was this guy just to just to roll on through with me because I, I just need a little bit of time just to sort of recover um, so I can put more power down again. But unfortunately it didn't happen. And with the little decline, the uh, the group just rolled straight back to us. So that was definitely a match burnt there um, and kind of a lesson learned uh, for me at this point. And now what I've got to do is get back into the pack and just, just recover, just relax. Now, something else recently is I have been um, saying on these videos that I back my sprint normally, but it hasn't really paid off recently. So that is another reason why I didn't want to leave the end of this race to uh, a sprint because with I don't know perhaps 30 riders in this group you know there's going to be someone that's better than me and I'm not really I haven't been timing my sprints very well recently so you know that's another reason why I thought best to try and make a move when I could all or nothing kind of thing on the uh, on the breakaway attempts but yeah just once again sat in recovering doing the best I can to save energy and uh, get ready for another attack but these little mini attacks kept happening off the front where someone would push the pace a little bit and then I'd have to jump back on because I was always afraid that a little group would form and I wouldn't be able to uh, to get back in I've got to start trusting that the group it will pull back anyone else that that kind of goes 
um, and attacks. But yeah, I've just not been doing that recently. And like, for example, now I'm just moving up through the pack when really I should just be sat at the back doing absolutely nothing at all. So once again, I have got a bit of learning and um, any of you that's watching, once again, I say thank you very much for watching. Thank you for, for subscribing. Um, love to see all the comments. But if you have, once again, got any comments that you think is going to help me improve my racing technique, then uh, please put them below. I do reply to every single comment that I get, so uh, it's always it's always nice to hear from you or to hear from to, to hear from someone new or someone um, that kind of sub subscribes for a long time or has commented for a long time. It's it's always nice. So yeah, here we go. Just coming through the tunnel now with four point four miles to go, and I'm actually really impressed. Just as a side note of this uh, this little Watopia route here, um, I think they've done a really really good job. It would be nice to have another little outdoors wouldn't it in in Watopia I think that would be nice but uh, I'll take this this is a nice little route and uh, I'm definitely going to do this um, kind of in free ride a bit more and just soak up the virtual atmosphere shall we say so not long to go now 2.9 miles left and not long for me to make that attack to the finish and yeah being at the front isn't actually going to help uh, my chances of uh, of resting up and making that attack stick. I mean, I think I would need to hold something ridiculous, what wise, if I were to attack from from here. But yeah, 1.6 miles. It's going to have to come at some point soon. And I see that person just off the front, kind of making a little escape. And I think right, it's going to be now or never. Now is my opportunity. I need to really go for it. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, the power up that I've got is not not exactly the best. But then I I do use it here, so it is definitely. Um, played to, to my sort of advantage and here we go getting a little bit of a gap got one second I know I've got to now hold this for one mile now one mile doesn't really seem like a lot at all but when you're I don't know 40 minutes 39 minutes into a race and knackered it really does hurt and um, at this point I kind of lost all my I don't know I could see them coming back so I lost the will to continue that unfortunately and now I've got to sit in the pack recover for a very short amount of time and hope that my sprint, I hope my sprint works. But um, as you're about to see, we're not gonna get much of a, a sprint. So sorry to disappoint. Um, so here we go. I'm just, I'm in a good position, I feel. You know, I'm in a good position, but I didn't kind of realize that there's gonna be a bit of an incline um, just before the finishing line. So I didn't realize that. And it would have been good to kind of make a bit of a, a leap before this bit here but uh, I didn't and I'm putting the power down now I'm trying to follow trying to follow but I know that I'm not going to have much of a sprint at this point pushing out 500 watts now and people are starting to come past me and I'm really doing my best to uh, stay with it I can see the finishing line I can see it but I can also see many many people coming past me and my dream of finishing this race in first position I'm afraid is very much over and that is a what, 20, 21st position. So, you know, overall, I was pretty happy with the power numbers here. And I was pretty happy with some of my tactics. But uh, it's just a difficult course to get away on. Um, but, you know, overall, satisfied, I would say. And uh, and we go on to the next one. But, you know, definitely that Flam Rouge racing has helped my fitness. So thanks very much for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one.